uh, consider the mass outflow of the controlled volume. So, mass outflow, outflow of controlled volume in the x direction is given is given by the equation rho w into qx into delta y into delta z plus d by dx rho w into qx into uh, qx into delta x into delta y into delta z. So, here the rho w is represented by the density of the fluid and qs is the flow per unit cross sectional area and delta y and delta z is the area of that uh, particular uh, plane in which uh, through which the water is flowing and d by uh, pl uh, plus d by dx of uh, density into the discharge or the flow per unit cross sectional area into uh, delta x into delta y into delta z. Uh, because the flow, uh, because the water is flowing in all the three dimension, we have to consider the uh, rate of uh, uh, changing length in the x and y and z direction respectively. So this equation is numbered as four. Next, in the y direction, the mass outflow can be represented by the equation rho w into q y into delta x into delta z plus d by d y into rho w into q y into delta x into delta y into delta z. This is equation number 5 and in the z direction the mass outflow will, will be rho w into qz into delta x into delta y plus d by dz into rho w into qz into delta x into delta y into delta z. This is equation number 6. So, we, we got the mass outflow equation in the x direction and y direction and z direction. Next, uh, we have to consider that is the groundwater flow equation is mainly based upon the law of conservation of mass as well as the law of conservation of energy. So, according to this law, the mass inflow minus mass outflow is equal to the change in storage per unit time change in storage per unit time and this equation is numbered as 7 and for the next equation is the mass inflow minus mass outflow that is the change in a storage so according to this equation the next equation will be the equation number one minus equation number four that is equation number one is represented by the mass inflow into the controlled volume and equation number four represents the uh, mass outflow from the controlled volume so the equation will be rho w qx and delta y into delta z plus 
sorry minus mass inflow minus mass outflow rho w into qx into delta y into delta z plus d by dx of rho w into qx into delta x delta x into delta y into delta z this is equation number 8 equation number 8 Next is the mass inflow minus mass outflow uh, in the y direction. So the equation will be rho w into qy into delta x into delta z minus rho w into qy into delta x into delta z plus d by dy into rho w into q y into delta x into delta y into delta z this is equation number 9 and in the z direction the equation will be rho w into q z into delta x into delta y minus rho w into qz into delta x into delta y plus d by dz into rho w into qz into delta x into delta y into delta z this is equation number 10 next we have to uh, consider the net flex in the controlled volume so in order to uh, consider or in order to uh, calculate the net flex in con controlled volume we have to equate all the three equations such as 8 equation 8 plus 9 plus 10 will give the net flex in the controlled volume net flex in the controlled volume 